eating very well. I've been eating lots of junk food. I hope you guys have, and I hope you've been eating nicely. This is a little book that might help us think about the ways that we can eat better. It's called Sneaky Spinach, and it is by Alexis Schultz and Sophie Hilton. Do you know what the word sneaky means? Sneaky is when you try to do something so no one will notice. So maybe the spinach is going to try and be sneaky for our little friend that's in the store. Let's find out. Nick loves to eat junk food. His three favorite foods are cookies, soda, and chips. And because he eats so poorly, Nick is always sick and tired. His mom is always telling him to eat more vegetables so he can be healthier. Nick is sick and tired of hearing that, too. But everyone knows that fruits and vegetables are great for you, and nobody knows that better than vegetables themselves. On Sunday night, Nick's mom worked really hard to make a healthy dinner for the family. Everyone enjoyed the dinner, except for Nick. He crossed his arms and grunted, I'm not going to eat any spinach you can't make me. Nick was sent to his room. That night, the spinach leaves got to thinking, how can we make sure Nick eats his veggies? After talking it over, they came up with a plan. On Monday, Nick and his mom made his morning smoothie together. They put frozen berries, milk, and a banana into the blender. Meanwhile, three spinach leaves crept across the counter, dove into the blender, and disappeared. Nick never saw those sneaky little spinach leaves, and he drank the whole thing. That day at school, Nick felt strong and full of energy. He even felt fast enough to tag Donovan, the fastest kid on the playground. On Tuesday, Nick and his mom made his morning smoothie together. They put frozen berries, milk, and a banana into the blender. Meanwhile, four spinach leaves crept across the counter, dove into the blender, and disappeared. Nick never saw those sneaky little spinach leaves, and he drank the whole thing. That day at school, Nick did better on his test than ever before. He even spelled more words correctly than that smarty pants Sarah. He was feeling like a smarty pants himself, and he liked it. On Wednesday, Nick and his mom made his morning smoothie together. They put frozen berries, milk, and a banana into the blender. Meanwhile, five spinach leaves crept across the counter, dove into the blender, and disappeared. Nick never saw those sneaky little spinach leaves, and he drank the whole thing. That day at school, Nick felt better than ever. He even did a more pull-ups than Bobby, the strongest kid at school. On Thursday, Nick and his mom made his morning smoothie together. They put frozen berries, milk, and a banana into the blender. Meanwhile, six spinach leaves crept across the counter, dove into the blender, and disappeared. Nick never saw those sneaky little spinach leaves, and he drank the whole thing. That day at school, everyone in class was acting crazy. They were talking loud and forgetting to listen. But Nick felt completely focused. On Friday, Nick and his mom made his morning smoothie together. They put frozen berries, milk, and a banana into the blender. Meanwhile, seven spinach leaves crept across the counter. But this time, because Nick was so much faster, smarter, and stronger, and calmer, he caught those seven sneaky spinach leaves before they could jump into the blender. Hey, what do you think you're doing, he yelled. The bravest spinach leaf proudly said, We have been sneaking into your smoothie all week to make you healthier. Nick exclaimed, So that's why all those special things happened to me this week. The spinach in my smoothie gave me superpowers. Now Nick was so smart that he decided to put spinach in his smoothie every day. He wanted to keep feeling great. Vegetables aren't so bad after all, he told his mom, and in a smoothie, I can't even taste them. That's because we're so sneaky, the super spinach leaves cheer. So that was Sneaky Spinach by Alexa Schultz and illustrated by Sophie Hanton. There, it's, you know, it's an okay, it's not the greatest book we've read thus far, right? But it's cute and it's got a good message that we need to eat better. It even has a nice recipe for a smoothie. But it does get us talking about fruits and vegetables. So I've got some all kinds of cards or visuals here that show us fruits and vegetables. I thought maybe we'd take a little quiz and see if we can answer the questions when I ask you what vegetable is this, okay? Okay, 
the fruits and vegetables. Maybe we'll, we'll alternate. I'll do one fruit, one vegetable, one fruit, one vegetable. Because we mostly we know lots of fruits, but sometimes we don't know as many vegetables. All right, I'll start here. What's that one? Apple. In Spanish, manzana. Apple, manzana. Very good. Oh, this one's hard. I don't know if you're going to get this one. What is that one? That's an artichoke. Hmm, that's kind of rare. I can't even say it in Spanish, so I'm not going to try it. That's an apple juice. Let's skip to that one. How about this? That's a fruit. It's called a apricot. In Spanish, ooh, it's chaba. No way, chabacano. Chabacano. That's hard for me. Sorry. Not fluent. Here we go. You guys know this one. It's broccoli. Not everybody likes broccoli. That's a tough one. Oh. Some of us think this is a vegetable because it's not very sweet, but it's actually a fruit. It grows on trees. It's an avocado. It's one of my favorite foods. And in Spanish, it's aguacate. This one, you guys have a lot. We have that in our lunches at school. Right? It's a carrot. In Spanish, zanahoria. There's another fruit. We like that too. If we get that in our breakfast fruit mix, this is the first thing that's gone, right? Banana. In Spanish, plátano. We go for another vegetable. It's celery. We get that with lunch sometimes too. With a little ranch dressing to dip. In Spanish, apio. Fruit. It's strawberries. This says in Spanish it's moras, but I thought it was fresas, so maybe you guys that speak Spanish can correct me. Oh, it's because it's mixed, because there's blueberries and there's blueberries and strawberries in that picture. That's why. I didn't really look at it, did I? How about this one? A vegetable. It's corn, that's right. In Spanish, elote. Let's go back to a fruit. Cantaloupe. In Spanish, melon. Okay, I'll give you another chance to say it. I'm gonna wait a second. What's this one? Green beans. I know one of you really likes this. Here, let's do this. Everybody likes this one. Fruit, grapes. Uvas. And let's do one more Spanish. How about this one? Lettuce. In Spanish, lechuga. Well, I have lots and lots of these and it will take a very long time. And I don't know how much time you have with me today, so maybe we'll do it again another day, but that was fun. Um, yeah. So try to eat more fruits, fruits and vegetables. That's what I have to do too. I've been at the same problem as our friend in the book, just eating chips. Not cookies, no, but chips. And that's not good. So more fruits and vegetables, okay? Take care. Bye.